accepted that I wanted to open up for Taylor Swift. And I feel like before it was like, like, who do you think you are? Like, why do you think that's even possible? And I, like, I was, oh, I'm, like, gonna cry thinking about it. I was, like, really down on myself. And I didn't, like, shoot for, like, big things. And now I'm, like, realizing if I want big things to happen and if I want good things to happen for myself, I have to not be afraid to go for them. And I think that happens to a lot of people, especially, like, if you've gone through trauma or if you've, like, had a childhood where it was like really very focused on like being a perfectionist or feeling like you're not good enough like you start to think like well why me like why do I deserve this like why should I get to have this opportunity this that and the other um so I'm like I'm trying to unlearn so many things and it's so difficult I don't know why I'm crying right now um but anyways that just came out of nowhere. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> like, I, um, thank you. Oh my gosh. You're so sweet. Um, thank you for the coral lady shade. <laughs> I know. I know. I could just, that was weird. Imposter syndrome. Yeah. It's so real. You like, you're like, why I don't deserve this. Like, I'm not that good. This that, and the other. And you work so hard on so many things and at some point it just gets to the point where it's like okay I'm just like done holding myself back and I think that that's where I'm at right now mentally especially working on this album like I want it to be why am I crying right now this is so stupid but like fuck This is a mood of me just, like, crying with friends in the background. <laughs> What's happening? Um, this album has pushed me so much to create something that not only means something, like, so much to me, Jesus Christ, but like, I make such dark music, like, and I've made such dark music for so long, and I think like sitting in that has really caused me to like, feel this immense amount of pain, and I know that I'm helping people, and I love that, um, but I think I'm at the point where I just, like, I need to, like, like, love myself again. <laughs> or love myself for the first time. Um, anyways. Sorry. Like I said, I'm, I don't know why I'm, like, crying so much. It's weird. Um... Yeah, so when we're creating this, the main goal is to just focus on growth, lyrically, musically, um, lol, musically. <laughs> Whew. Can we bring musically back? That was, those were the days, right? This just shows how important it is to you what you're doing as healing changes with, right? Like, I think, I think, yeah, I think you're right. Like, I just, I, I, like, don't get me wrong. There are some sad songs on this album, like really sad songs on this album, but it's also, it's also like accompanied with these really beautiful, meaningful, powerful songs. Um, that I'm so excited about and I'm so excited for to share with you guys. Um, so speaking of, I haven't finished her yet and I technically need to. Um, 
so I think I might work on that one. This is impossible. Especially like right now. This song is gonna hit me like a ton of bricks. Thank you for sharing. <sighs> yeah, you can ask me something. What's up? Thank you, Amber, for the love you. Since I found you, I swear you're healing me better than any psychiatrist ever could. That's amazing. <laughs> so I have a song um, that's called Her. That is going to wreck you backwards and forwards. Um, I actually performed it in I think like two locations while I was on tour uh, with Citizen Soldier. And it was so strong and so powerful that I kid you not, the, like I ended up kind of singing it to like this girl specifically, like I held her hand while I sang it to her. Um, and I felt so bad honestly, cause she almost kind of had a panic attack. Um, But it's it's such a it's such a beautiful song, like it's this it's something that could very much well change the trajectory of my entire career. Mostly because like it's like if iconic was like on crack, like it's just it's so good, and it's so real and it's so honest to me and like who I am as a person. Oh, and my struggle with like being who I am, especially like I'm. I'm just gonna like cry all day, I guess. I'm I'm gonna be like 30 at some point, right? Like in a couple of years, I will. And I think that accepting the fact that I don't have like a 19 year old body anymore. <laughs> this is so stupid, why am I crying over this? But seeing how much society and the world puts on women to be soft and skinny and like these perfect petite little bodies, like it's exhausting. Um, so when I wrote her, I straight up was just having a mental breakdown in my closet <laughs> while I was wearing this like super tiny outfit that didn't fit and like my belly was like hanging over and I just felt so gross and disgusting in my own skin. <laughs> But I think that feeling is such a universal feeling because we, we want to be like perfect, whatever the world's idea of perfect is. And it's an impossible thing to accomplish. Because what is perfect? What does that even mean? Um... So I want to work on her today. If I can, I don't know why I'm so fucking emotional today. Um, I think I'm just tired, like, of caring. I think that there's, like, obviously, like, 
men go through the same thing for sure. Like they're, you, you know, they're supposed to be kind of like buff and attractive and have abs and stuff. But I feel like it's not pushed as much, you know, like I feel like it's like, oh, he has a dad bod. It's more accepted. And then you see a woman who has like a belly and everyone's like well you're super fucking unhealthy and you're gonna have heart disease and you're gonna like you know like it, there's just this like rabid energy towards women that decide that they like food <laughs> and they can't go to the gym six times a week you know and it's just it's crazy because it's like okay well like am I trying to be healthy for myself and then because I want to, like, be in shape, or am I trying to be healthy, or am I trying, like, am I working out to get skinny, and to have abs, and to, like, look good in that dress that I just bought, like, and, like, there's the side of just accepting it, and not caring, and then there's the side of, like, like, there's no healthy medium, it feels like, you either get obsessed with working out, or just completely stop caring, and, like, it just, it's exhausting, so, and I felt this ever since I was little, like, <laughs> I think that's why I'm crying so much right now, because I know, like, since I was, like, literally 12, <laughs> I've had, like, a like this, like, like a belly, and I know I'm not like super fat or overweight or whatever, and, but like, there's just this idea that we need to be thin and petite and something someone can pick up and all this time. It's just, it like, it's engraved in our brains now. Like it's not even, it ha it's not even just like this external thing that we can avoid. It's everywhere. It's it's a culture, <coughs> and and it's tiring. It's very very tiring. <sighs> hey. Alright. Okay. Uh, I gotta go back to my laptop later. Oi. I love you too. I love you guys so much. I'm sorry, I'm like sobbing right now. I, th I don't know what's going on with me. I'm like, my emotions are all over the place. weird super fucking weird honestly it just came out of nowhere but like it kind of did it because like for the past three days i've like i don't know maybe this is just how i get when megan's not home <laughs> just have mental breakdowns <laughs> back and forth <clears throat> sometimes you just need to feel the emotions yeah i like oh god mother fuck i just like i just want to like like myself you know like i really I straight up, I just want to feel 
like I'm allowed to just be and not like have to make it this whole thing where it's like, yeah, I'm embracing who I am. It's like, just like, no, like I just, I just am who I am. Like, honestly, I'm probably hungry. That's probably what it is. I've been eating yogurt for the past three days because, again, I'm on this fucking health kick trying to get a flat stomach because for some fucking reason I care about it more than life itself. I feel like... Especially, like, being an artist, like, I've been, like, looking at myself from, like, videos of me on tour and shit, and I just hate what I see so much, (laughs) and it's so stupid, because I shouldn't, but, like, then there's this voice inside me that's like, imagine how good you'd feel if you were skinny. (laughs) And I have this thing inside me that's like, embrace who you are, embrace who you are. And like that, that voice isn't louder than the one, the other one. (laughs) Oh, it's so stupid. Like, it's so dumb. I don't even know. I'm like. I'm having a panic attack right now. I'm pretty, like I'm fine, but it's just I literally am like running off of like yogurt and blueberries. <laughs> Did you know people put yogurt in tuna? That shit is so nasty. Who does that? Like, it's so exhausting because, like, I'm trying to, like, let me let me let you in on my, like, fitness journey right now. I've been doing this, like, shred for, like, this two-week shred, right? And I've done it for three days. And it's a painful thing to have to accept you can't just work out and eat whatever the fuck you want if you want to feel like if you want your results right so I have this like I was like looking up healthy things because I had tuna and I love tuna and then it was basically like mayonnaise is super unhealthy and it's gonna like add to belly fat and shit like that and I was like okay well like how do I make this healthy and they were like put yogurt in your tuna like greek yogurt and it was so fucking disgusting I almost threw up like it was so nasty and then my I was like fuck it I'm about to just use this mayonnaise because I don't want to be fucking chunky but I also hate the taste of this and I have nothing else to eat so I like I don't know I just I'm just it's It's weird because you you think that it means like this dedication to yourself and you it's like oh I'm staying disciplined and focused and motivated and you know working out and and doing all these things is like good for you but at the same time like my mental health is just so shitty as you can see I'm like crying every 5 minutes because like I guess my body is just not used to not like eating the way that I usually am used to eating I don't know I don't fucking know what it is I don't, I have literally no idea. And, like, I am eating. Like, I ate eggs and, like, yogurt for breakfast. And it was, it was, like, good. Maybe I need to eat right now. Maybe I need a snack. Maybe that's why I'm just, like, sobbing right now. I'm on day three of trying to be healthy. (laughs) It's not going well. Oh, God. Hey. Sugar-free protein, protein bars. Are they good? Sugar withdrawal is no joke for real though. Is that what I'm having right now? Does it make you want to cry? Because that's where I'm at. Like, 
dude it's weird like it's so weird especially because like i'm trying so hard to like <sighs> have you guys ever just like wanted something just to like prove to yourself that you could do it and like been like oh like i'd have so much more confidence and i'd like i'd i'd be able to go for a hike and not feel like i'm dying and like you know what i mean i feel like that's where i'm at and like I'm trying, but I guess I'm just, like, not doing this correctly. Because, like, I was fine. And then I hopped on here and I started, like, talking about it. And then I just, like, had a mental breakdown for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what happened. It was weird. It was really weird. The fact that you guys are, like, liking this is crazy. Oh, yeah. No, my thing's glitching. I don't know what's happening. I'm sorry. I mean, just like crying on this broadcast. I did not anticipate this just being a broadcast where I just sit and sob. Um, so my thing's acting stupid right now. I'm going to end this and come back. Like, I'll try not to.